Hey there, I'm Ray from the README team, and I'm excited to walk you through staging, a README enterprise feature. So first, let's talk about what staging is. With staging, project settings and content changes are saved to a staging environment for review rather than instantly going live. So as you can see, if I make a change here, I save it to staging, and the change pops up in this environment. This gives enterprise group admins a safe sandbox to preview changes and the peace of mind that nothing is published to their live developer hubs until they've reviewed, promoted, and confirmed changes from staging to production. So let's talk about navigating this page. As you can see, staging lives at the top of your enterprise group. All enterprise group owners and admins can view the staging page and promote changes to production. Your staging page is divided into these two main sections. You have pending promotion and all projects. All currently saved changes in your group will be visible in this pending promotion section, where they're grouped by project, including a separate folder for enterprise group level changes. And you see this group sticker indicates it here and here. When you first arrive on your staging page, all stage changes are hidden within their respective project folders. You can click show changes to reveal all changes for each project, grouped by individual page changes. This count over here indicates the number of stage changes for that project. Each listed change includes an icon to indicate the change type, green indicates a new change, yellow is for an edit, and red is for a deletion, what type of change occurred, as well as when it occurred. And if you hover, you'll see a timestamp. And then where the change appeared, for example, change log, guides, configuration. And lastly, these initials indicate who saved that staging change. And if you hover over, you can get more details. So once you're comfortable with these changes, it's time to promote them to production, where they'll instantly show up live in your developer hub. We'll do this step in a little bit. Enterprise group admins have the control to decide whether to promote changes only related to a single project, at the enterprise group level, or you can promote all stage changes across all projects in your enterprise group. Per project promotions allow individual teams to work at their own pace with little internal coordination necessary. Each project team can save changes to staging when they're ready, and the group admin can review these changes and promote them without any dependency on other teams' workflows or schedules. Clicking this dropdown also shows some more options. In addition to promoting your project, you can jump to the project's dashboard, or you can review the stage changes in the hub to simulate the end user experience. Just a note that project admins and viewers can preview stage changes in the hub like this for any projects where they have teammate access. So they are able to hover between these two views. However, they won't be able to promote stage changes in the enterprise group dashboard unless in this teammate section, you upgrade them to a group admin. So now let's head over to the all project section. So in your all project section, you'll see a list of all projects in your enterprise group. And by clicking show history, you can see a historical record of all previous promotions. If you click this drop down, you can see the specific changes that were made and promoted each time you promoted to from staging to production. If in a case where you have more than five promotion histories, you can click to load more and it will continue loading until you have a record of all previously promoted changes. There's a few final navigation controls for a staging page that we'll talk about now. If you click this preview here, it takes you to the main environment of your developer hub in your staging environment. However, if you wanna head straight to the production, the live view of your developer hub, you just click the name of your enterprise group at the top of your enterprise group dashboard. Just a note that you do need to have custom domain set up in order to successfully toggle between your production and staging environment, as you can see here. Heading back to staging, we talked about the ability to promote changes at a specific project level or at the enterprise group level, but if you want to promote all changes related to everything that's currently saved to staging in your enterprise group environment, you would use this promote all. If you come back at any point and there are no currently saved changes to staging, this promote all will be disabled. Lastly, 
These functionalities allow you to easily filter and search for a specific project, or for example, if we wanted to search for a specific promoter, it would only bring up the projects that Sarah, in this case, promoted. So now we've reached the final step. It's time to promote and confirm the stage changes to production. Since we've only really reviewed the changes for this project, Albert Journey Maps, we're just gonna promote at this level. Just a reminder that you can also promote all if you're ready to do that as well. So we'll click to promote. We'll accept this, we've read it, we're ready to promote. And there we go, it's live. If we click this, we can see that everything is now, these new pages are in our production view. If we click over to staging, it should be exactly the same because we just promoted everything that was in, in the staging environment. And as you can see, Albert Journey Maps no longer appears in pending promotion. We should see this promotion history down here. Yes, we do. And that's it, that's staging for you. We're really excited for you to try it out. If you're an enterprise customer and looking to enable staging for your group, be sure to reach out to your PXM and they'll help you get everything set up. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to send a note to support at readme.io or to use the intercom widget in our readme docs to send a message. Thanks so much.